Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I've got an article I'd like to share with you that somebody sent me an email in my email. Today is still March the 27th, and now it is 7.34, and this is take two. All right, it's, it's from the New York Post online, and it is titled, Sperm Eggs Need Not Apply. Australian researchers grow embryos from skin cells by Laura Ital Italiano. March, it's dated March 18th, 2021. Wait a minute. This is the 27th. Wow, this month has flown. And there's a pretty picture here. I'm going to try to get a part of it. And let's see, we'll use that. If you get too much, they'll say, yeah, your picture's too big. All right, we'll use that right there. All right, the model embryos are seen with protein staining, highlighting different cell types. Oh, well, so cool. Scientists have created a human embryo without sperm or an egg. The first time that has been done. Well, they can say that, but I don't believe it. They've been cloning people. How do you think they've been cloning, let's say, the Clintons or the Bushes or uh, the Queen? famous people that want to have a clone take their part for them if they don't feel like going anyway just a question an international team led by researchers from Monash University in Melbourne Australia and I'm not sure how if that's pronounced right it could be Monash or Monash whatever it's in Melbourne successfully grew early human embryos from the cell from the skin cells of an adult's arm it will allow us to study the early days of human development without using human embryos and it will allow us to study many cases of infertility and for example why many miscarriages happen within the first two weeks of pregnancy lead researcher jose polo told australia's abc hmm how would somebody know that they were pregnant if they miscarried within the first two weeks good question huh when placed in a dish, the model embryos called iblastoids attached much as embryos would in the uterus and began developing, the Sydney Morning Herald reported. IVF or in vitro fertilization experts are likely to be among those most eager to learn more about the discovery. The head of the Monash Biomedicine Discovery Institute, John Carroll, told the ABC it came after years of experimentation. They had this sort of eureka moment where they were looking down the microscope and discovered they that they'd formed these little embryo-like looking structures, Professor Carroll said. My goodness. But the discovery has also raised major ethical questions over cloning and human genetic engineering. Oh, 
Are you serious? They really care about that? How wonderful. Quote, how religious leaders will take this, I don't know, to be honest, unquote, Polo said. The embryos are destroyed at 11 days and cannot develop into a fetus. We have to have the discussion. How far can we use these models to model biology? Unquote. You know, this is so crazy. They've been cloning people only God knows for how long. Well, and this, the devil and those doing it. So anyway, I thought I'd share that with you just for a little interesting news. And I'll end it with that and say, I hope you have a pleasant night or pleasant day whenever you happen to see this. And may God bless you and your whole family and let us be found worthy to escape all these things that are to come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. Bye for now. Talk to you later.